You're watching Fitness Regiment, and this is the first episode of basically learning R. So in this episode, we're going to be installing R. In the last episode, we had a quick introduction and we talked about what's going to be in the series. If you already have R installed, you can skip ahead since this is going to be really basic. The link for the download is in the description below, or you can just Google R programming and go to R SourceForge, etc. Uh, you can also choose an IDE, which is an integrated development environment. Um, if you want to do specific things inside of R, but we're just going to use uh, the core um, R elements. And basically there's different IDEs. There's something like Emacs and ESS, Eclipse Architect, R Studio, and a bunch of other editors and IDEs, but you don't really need them. And these are only for very specific uses and I'm not going to be using them. I'm just gonna be using the core R. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go over to the um, we're just going to Google basically our programming, go to rproject.org. We're going to go ahead and download it. So just follow the steps in the videos, downloading it for Windows because I'm using Windows. And we're just going to go ahead and wait for the download to start. And once it's started, I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead because I have fairly slow internet. So what's in some, once it's on my desktop, I'm just going to go ahead and install it. You can see all the instructions there, fairly easy. You can do some custom installation stuff, or you can just um, go ahead and uh, let it do it for you. So there's nothing really here for me to say. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm trying to show a little bit about the different um, things you can have and the different settings. Uh, just install it wherever you like. It doesn't really matter for now. And in the next episode, we're going to really start coding. We're going to start with Hello World and uh, we're going to start exploring R, how it works, how it's built, um, where to get help. And we're going to start with plotting and all the basic functions of it. So here we're just going to go ahead and install it. If you've got any problems, just Google them really. Um, for me, it just works fine every time I do it. I just I like to run everything as administrator, but I'm sure it's not necessary. And as you see, it's installed. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for now. And uh, I hope you guys saw the last one and check out the ones in the future. I know we really didn't do anything here, but I just want a short video on how to install R. Okay, so thanks for watching and make sure you keep watching.